Okay, this is going to be the three card oracle you pick with Diet Across the Finish. So I hope you like them. If you do, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Okay, so this is going to be a three card oracle you pick. So that's what we're going to be dealing with today. Uh, get yourself ready, uh, take a breath, think about what it is you want to deal with, maybe go ahead and get yourself something to drink, and then sit down and settle in for the next few minutes. So this will be just three cards, so three choices. Um, think about uh, what it is that you want to address. Maybe take a deep breath, let it out slowly just before we get started, uh, and, um, and really start to concentrate on the issues that are important to you. As a matter of fact, just stop the tape right now and take a few minutes to think about what is important to you today. That's always a good idea, even if you're not looking at tarot cards. Okay, so this is the Connolly Tarot by Peter Paul Connolly and Eileen Connolly. And this is, this is actually a son and a mother who did these cards, but these are very nice cards to use. I love them a lot. And uh, so the Connollys, um, as a matter of fact, the mother's a PhD and is into parapsychology and all sort of things uh, spiritual. Um, and then, so she kind of conceived of this thing. Then she got her son, uh, who was born in 1964, but I guess by then he was a teenager. But she got him to design the cards, and uh, he's an artist today. So that's Peter Paul Collins. So, so these are pretty interesting cards. I love them. Let me show you how they look. They've just got so much color in them. Apparently he uh, sketched these out with colored pencils uh, before they became finished works of art. And I guess they're hanging in galleries somewhere on the West Coast, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. So there you go. So these are beautiful. I love these cards. I mean, they're everything uh, you want to see in a typical, easy to read uh, tarot card. Now put them out like this so that you can take a look at them too. You know, everybody likes to see something different. And uh, maybe you haven't seen these cards laid out like that before. But um, that's those folks, the Connollys. Three card oracle. So like I say, now's the time to maybe take a deep breath. Let it out slowly. If you need to, take a minute to uh, get your thoughts together. Kind of clear your mind at the same time. It sounds contradictory, but it actually uh, it all works together. And um, decide what you want to address, you know. And uh, maybe nothing at all. Maybe you just want to watch and see if this fits into uh, what's happening to you or what may, might be happening for a friend or a neighbor or a loved one. So three cards. Three cards. And then die at a cross finish on those three. One two, three. So we're going to take some time to make a choice. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. And then we'll see how these pan out for you. If you chose number one, that card is the Ace of Swords. I mean, it's the ultimate number one. So the Ace of Swords are truth, justice, rules, planning, law, can even be health. And uh, so this Ace of Swords is a great big offer of that. But I'm noticing here that this little imp is having, you know, kind of a hard time uh, pulling the sword out of the stone. So this Ace of Swords doesn't come without some uh, work on your part, okay? This offer of truth, justice, um, or, or what this may represent to you today, uh, doesn't come without some uh, required uh, work on your part. Uh, this is a yes card, by the way. So if you just asked a yes or no question, yes. If you chose number two, this is the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is um, 
pentacles are worth of value that can actually be money. And this king of pentacles is completely in charge of his worth. He's holding on to this in a, in a very authoritative way. This is my value. This is my worth. And this is what I'm going to consider uh, doing with it. So this is a yes card. If you chose this card today, just know that you have the authority to make the decisions that you need to make. Okay. If you chose number three, okay, this is the king of cups. Another yes card, but this king is concerning himself not so much with his value, but with the emotions of the day. He's standing in front of some water. He's got some beautiful, passionate coloring behind him. Even his dress is is uh, fur-lined, compassionate uh, sort of a king. So uh, there could be some some surprises in this day, but with that cup firmly in hand and and gracefully uh, balanced, uh, you know that you are the one who's going to take charge of these emotions today. It's you. This is a yes card. Okay, so now we'll do some a dyadic cross on this first one, this Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords, we're going to get uh, just five more cards to help define this for you today. Okay, so five cards right in here. One, two, three, four. And finally, number five, because we already have our sixth card right there, that Ace of Swords is the signifier for this reading. Value, truth, justice, rules, law, with a little work. Challenge to that is the Empress. Beautiful card to challenge this, because the Empress is with all of the value, all of the knowledge, um, uh, all the compassion. She's almost like Mother Nature, all right? So the Empress is a very powerful card, and... Um, very interesting challenge to this great big offer of the ace here. I would say that the reason uh, you should take some time to consider whatever this is, is just because of the sheer value that's involved. The base of this reading, ah, so this is the number two card, and this is the two of pentacles. So this performer is actually uh, getting ready to begin his act. He hasn't quite tossed these up in the air. He still has time to consider how he's going to go about this. He's making sure that he has a good stance, and he's uh, positioning his hips down, his arms out. He's focusing his mind. He's looking over the, the scenario to see how this is going to perform. So you came into this uh, knowing that this would be a performance and would have to be a balanced situation. The past of this reading is the Ace of Cups, another Ace. So this is very good, especially with these being yes cards. So um, this Ace of Cups is just very much immersed in the emotion of this situation, even resting on top of a pool of uh, compassion. So the piece of getting ready to make an offering right down there. So we came into this uh, from some sort of a compassionate or a, uh, a, a emotion, emotionally calm um, attitude. In the sky of this reading is the Five of Swords. Now, the Five of Swords is kind of argy-bargy, kind of, um, oh, no, the Five of Swords, I'm sorry, is an abuse of power. As a matter of fact, I was thinking of the Five of Wands. The Five of Swords is an abuse of power. So someone is wielding their power to the disadvantage of someone else. And this is so confused here. This person who is at the disadvantage, in fact, is having to balance all of these rules, these laws, these justices, while this other person here has clearly just got one intention, and that's to dominate the situation. So this is an abuse of power. This person could easily put his sword down and help this fellow out. But no, he's saying while he's complicated, while he's uh, compromised, I'm going to exert some authority or some um, issue over them. So just be aware of that being in the sky of this day. And then on the likely outcome, for this diet at cross is the emperor. Beautiful way to end because we start out with a yes card and we end up with just the most valuable yes card almost in the pack. So the emperor is in complete control of the situation of his empire. All right, he's doing something uh, towards the judgment of the betterment of the uh, land that he's overseeing, the people that he's overruling, and the uh, government that he's overseeing. So the emperor just couldn't be more powerful. And that's how you'll come out of this day if you play, <laughs> here's a little pun, your card's right. So I hope that was good for you today on that one. And we'll move on to the number two card. If you chose number two, that of course is the King of Pentacles. Remember the King is the highest authority in the Royal Suite, all right? This King looks very determined, very comfortable with the idea that uh, all of this value is his and things will be determined in the way that he uh, decides is best. That's you by the way. 
But if you're not feeling that way, adjust yourself into that mindset. The challenge to that, though, is the high priestess. But don't get too cocky because there's always someone with a little more uh, authority than you, almost in, in, in any aspect. And the high priestess is a challenge to the king because there may be some sort of judgment, some sort of truth, some uh, values, some sort of um, organizational situation that this uh, king has to abide by. Okay, so that's the challenge to being in charge of your value is not get cocky with it. The base of this reading then is the Nine of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles is really just being awash in everything that you need, uh, either uh, uh, um, in this world or in your mind or for your comfort. All right. So this uh, Nine of Pentacles, this woman just has uh, confidence. She's relaxed. She's enjoying the bounty of her day that she's created around her, gazing out of that window at her beautiful garden, uh, knowing that um, she's completely uh, going to be um, comfortable. Now, that's how we come into this from the base of this. So we may have been feeling maybe not as charged at this Nine of Pentacles, but we may have been feeling some sort of a, a comfort, which um, can sometimes lull you into a false sense of security. The past of this reading, then, is the Three of Pentacles. And the Three of Pentacles is, is working together to produce something of value for public display. That's just a simple uh, definition that I like to use for this card. And uh, we've this uh, group gathered here as, as uh, knowledge and um, spiritual aspects. It has uh, wisdom and it has uh, labor and uh, young, youthful enthusiasm. So this Three of Pentacles is uh, coming into this uh, with something that uh, is is there for everybody to um, obviously see. Could be you, could be the situation around you, could be your children. So uh, that's how this decision comes into being. The sky of this reading is the Queen of Pentacles. Interesting that we get the King and the Queen. So maybe the idea here, since the Queen is in the sky here, is that we may f be feeling so emboldened that we could bring ourselves down a notch. Remember, um, we're challenged by this High Priestess who represents so much value, and now the sky that's reading the Queen of Pentacles, it may be that we need some humble in our pie. Look out with the rich uh, Nine of Pentacles here. Uh, these Pentacles, these Pentacles, these Pentacles. Yeah, it may be that we need to bring ourselves down just a notch. And then, and then the likely outcome of all of this, look at that, the emperor. So we come in with the high priestess, and again we have the emperor appearing, as he did in the last reading, uh, to tell us that if we consider everything that we have to do to make this choice, then we're absolutely going to be in charge of the best result. Okay, so that's interesting for that read. And now, if you chose the third card... That's the King of Cups. Beautiful cards today. Another yes card. Uh, very emotionally charged. A lot of compassion could be there. So the King of Cups is the signifier for this diagonal cross, and it's a yes card for your choice today. So we're going to take five cards for our usual. One, two, three, four, and five. King of Cups is a signifier for all of that. Okay? challenge to that king will be revealed as this uh, two of wands. So the wands are action, uh, planning, um, uh, motions forward. And so this two of wands is telling us that, yeah, there's some short-term planning uh, that um, is, is going to be perhaps the challenge to all of this emotion or compassion or this turmoil of the situation that this king is in charge of. So this person uh, doesn't seem to be royal, but certainly seems to be well-placed. And so these two uh, of wands, these, this uh, short-term plan, of which one he's got firmly in his hand and one which is still uh, hasn't landed yet. Okay, you see these two birds here who are actually carrying this plan. So this second part of this plan hasn't quite landed yet. And uh, this king of cups, this compassionate king, just needs to be aware of that, which he, he probably naturally is, and that means you. The base of this reading, then, is the Page of Pentacles. I always tell you that the page just brings the idea to court. Look at this. This page is carrying this value. He's standing on some knowledge, and he's coming out of a beautiful uh, garden of opportunity into uh, um, a background of sunshine and passion. So this uh, page doesn't know what he's offering, but he knows it has value. And he's carefully handing it to you to, um, to deal with, as you see, is appropriate as the king. 
the past to this reading is the Nine of Swords. And the Nine of Swords is really embattled, okay? He's really been through it. He's carrying these truths, these justices, these rules. He's even got one left behind here that probably he's gonna have to go back and get or he's just gonna leave it behind altogether. So we come into this kind of being burdened by all of that. Truth, rules, justice, um, as, as that Nine of um, Swords. In the uh, sky of this reading, we have the Chariot. Okay, the chariot is always talking about things moving ahead, moving forward, getting a, a control on the forces that are guiding this uh, this this movement. Okay, so this uh, looks like a knight, even or I guess a, a, a charioteer that they were called. So it looks uh, like his his the driving forces have been a bit splayed, but he knows that he's going to have to bring them together to have a, a good result. And that's what you need to keep in mind too. And then the uh, final outcome for this. It is then the six uh, of cups. Again, cups, let me remind you, are compassion and emotion. And look at this father. He's remembering perhaps how, how wonderful his children had been. These kids are loving the times that they had in the past. The six of cups is usually about, you know, remembering how things were at a better time. So this yes card can certainly come out to a very satisfying uh, end, something that can be remembered fondly uh, if we just remember that the plan has to land. We have to consider the value with some knowledge. We have to uh, understand if we've... Um, if this has been an embattled situation that it's coming to a close, but we can't bring it to a close if we don't get the driving force under control. Okay. And, but once we do, yeah, it'll be satisfactory and we'll be glad that we did it. So those are the three Oracle cards for today. And I hope this reading has said something to you. Maybe if it's not for you, for someone that you uh, uh, love or care about or are dealing with. And um, if not, uh, put it aside, maybe look at it again later, or this may just not be the reading for you today. And that's perfectly fine. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.